What's up everyone, Philip and Mitchell here from IGN and today we are playing Mario Tennis Aces on Nintendo Switch. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I am so excited to finally dive into this. I cannot wait. Yes. I played, I played the online demo of this and I was absolutely hooked. Uh, we have a review up right now on IGN.com. You can uh, take a look at that. Um, and I think we're going to kind of run the whole uh, gamut here. We're going we're gonna to check out single player. We're going to check out some, right. some multiplayer. Maybe and, do a tournament uh, or something. Ooh. Yeah. Tournament. Should be fun. Uh, we'll check it out. We're streaming live on IGN YouTube, NVC YouTube, and Mixer. And tw are we doing Twitch as We're well? We're doing Twitch. We're on Hi, Twitch, Twitch as well. What's up, Twitch chat? Uh, definitely drop your questions in the chat. We'll be talking with the chat this entire stream. We're streaming for two hours. This is the very beginning. So sit tight, grab a drink. Uh, maybe a snack. And, I, can't, uh, I can't grab my drink. We're, we're not sponsored by them. I can oh. go off camera and have my drink. There you go. We'll have to do it <laughs> off camera. Um, yeah, let's switch controllers to here. I, I want to be player one. Ooh. 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 Up, Mr. Nintendo <laughs> has to be player one. I got to be player I didn't one. Know we, we had such a diva here. This is serious business, all right, man? I get competitive with my Mario Tennis games. Um, right, let's jump in. Yeah, we're playing, uh, we're playing with pro controllers, as you guys can see here. And uh, this is the very beginning, so I, I have been playing a, a bit of adventure mode on my own, but we're starting a fresh uh, story mode here for you guys to mm -hmm. see what it's like when you start up. Uh, and then we'll jump into the other stuff a little later. Uh, I also just want to say, if you're watching on NBC, I am sorry. Uh, we had Hollow Knight uh, still still on the, the title and the, uh, um, the, the thumbnail. If you refresh, hopefully it should be fine. Yeah. Wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang, updates. So, so is this right when you uh, start up the game, this is what you, you, uh, you get? Exactly. So before you even get a menu or anything like that, the second you start it up, you get this little intro cutscene that kind of explains the story of what's happening here. Um, and as you can see, there's a very nice tennis match happening here between <laughs> Mario and Peach. But... Some funny business is about to happen here. Shenanigans. All right, so this is our Mario first... Mario Party. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is our first look at the overworld uh, for Adventure Mode, which is really cool. Uh, it's a nice little big... Or it's a nice little big... It's a nice big open area uh, that you can explore. There's different side stuff you can check out. So here, Toad's saying something to us. Saying, congratulations, champs. What amazing teamwork. <laughs> now for the best part, let's take a look at that shiny trophy. And, uh-oh, looks like we have some visitors. Guess who, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Wario's eyes! I know, they're like, they're pretty sure they're possessed. Uh, we know you'd steal another win. Always up to no good, those those guys. Did you know they're not actually brothers? Wario and Waluigi? I think Waluigi? I did know that, yeah, actually, yeah. That's weird. Uh, and nice guys that we are, we have a little gift to honor the new champions. Uh -huh. This is the most powerful racket in the world. Oh, I should have turned off friend notifications. Uh, it's only suitable for the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on here? You two are acting mighty sketchy. Don't you like your gift, Mario? It's none other than the legendary racket from the Temple of Basque. That's a pretty sweet looking racket, though. Yeah, I play tennis with that. Yeah, right? A legendary racket from the Temple of Basque, could it be? Oh, yay! No, Luigi! He's so mesmerized by the racket. Oh, no, Luigi! <laughs> it's a taking over of me. I think kind of looks like ghastly. <laughs> Man, this is dark. This is surprisingly dark start to uh, to a, a otherwise beautiful Mario tennis game. Hey, it started out as a beautiful day. Yeah. And now we are in this tornado his, of a mess. His brother got possessed. Yes. All right, so we're jumping back into the overworld. Oh man, that tornado was intense. It really messed up the stadium. I can't believe that happened. It's like a real life nightmare. I don't see Luigi and the others anywhere. Where could they be? I have a bad feeling about this. Wario and Waluigi were even more suspicious than usual. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I believe it was the racket's grip tape that wrapped up poor Luigi. How unsettling. Mm -hmm. Toad, you know something, don't you? That whining smile can't fool me. Or wh whining, winning? Uh, well, it's just a rumor, but they said this island was once home to the prosperous kingdom of Basque. Aww. 
Oh, of course. Fast ruins in the desert of a relic of that, that once great kingdom. I hear archaeologists went there recently to research it. Yeah! Tennis was very popular in the kingdom of Basque. The ruined walls are filled with paintings of people playing. So you guys can see there's actually a pretty decent story here, decent amount of story. Um, among those wall paintings is one that's very strange to say the least. Oh man, Mario's getting ideas right now. He's like, strange paintings, I'm gonna jump into it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's of a spooky racket floating in the sky with people blowing down before it. It almost looks like the racket is controlling them. A racket with mind control powers? Oh, goodness. Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that Luigi and the others are being controlled by an almighty tennis racket? We can't rule it out. For now, maybe we can find out more at Basque Ruins. You're right. Let's go right now. All right. We're about to go on our very first mission here. Princess Peach and Princess Daisy, please allow Mario and me to go investigate on your behalf. Besides, it's possible Luigi and the others will turn up while we're gone. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's true. In that case, we leave this important task to you, dear friends. We won't let you down. Come on, Mario. Let's head for that desert right away. Come on! Come on! <laughs> I love his little sayings. <laughs> Please don't put yourselves in danger. We'll be awaiting your safe return. Ow. You're no stranger to adventure, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Please, just bring back Luigi safely. She would be worried about him. Surprising amount of exposition. I know, um, right? We had we had a comment. Uh, yeah. Duh, 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 duh. Where was it? Who cares about story for a tennis game? <laughs> and that's fair. Um, but you know, this I, I believe. Do you know if this is made by Camelot? The same people who. Do uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. So I mean, Camelot made made kind of their name doing. Uh, doing sports games on, uh, it's, I mean, they it's Mario Mario sports games all throughout the consoles. Right. But uh, I think some of their most notable were on the the Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color. Um, mm -hmm. They were handheld, and they they actually had very in depth RPG style stories. And a lot, I think, a lot of people were excited about the announcement of single player for Aces because it might have been like a return to that. So I'm I'm very early on in this in this story. I don't know if it's if it lives up to. Uh, the pedigree of, of some of those other games. Um, but, you know, I, I wouldn't scoff at Story being in a sports game. We had Golf Story, and that yeah. was uh, a fantastic game. Very true. And if you haven't played Golf Story, I definitely recommend you check it out, because uh, it is really good. But um, unlike Golf Story, this isn't uh, sort of like an open world that you can explore. It's, uh, you know, you guys saw the, the, op uh, the overworld, and it's on a linear path, uh, mm -hmm. sort of like classic Mario games are. Um, but there are like secret levels and different paths that you can go on, which is pretty cool. So, um, I like the fact that they added in a story mode. I think it's much better to have one than to not have one, even if it is a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that seems to be the, the number one complaint that I'm hearing from, from people. Uh, I've also heard that, you know, some of it is, is pretty difficult. Oh um, yeah, it does. It gets really hard. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see, no. to see some of that. They're playing, uh, already playing tricks on me in the tutorial here. Drop shot. I know, those drop shots are nasty. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, Jamie Webster wants to know, hey, IGN, how are you playing the whole game when it's not out yet? Uh, we actually have uh, an early copy, so Nintendo was kind enough to send us a, uh, a copy, even though uh, none of us reviewed the game for IGN. Um, it was actually Tristan from our uh, AU team, our Australian team. Yeah. Uh, he took care of the review, but I definitely think he did a great job, and you guys should check it out if you have not seen it already. We posted it this morning. Um, but yeah, uh, so go check out that review. Um, once again, we are not the reviewers, but uh, I played so much of this game when, when that online demo came out, and I fell in love. Uh, I think the interesting thing I th uh, about this game, and a lot of other people have been saying this too, but it kind of has some, some fighting game. Uh, you know, mentality to it. There's oh, yeah. a lot of there's a lot of mind games that go on beyond just the executional factor of you know, just pressing the buttons. Right. It's um, not just about knocking a ball back and forth. No. Yeah. It, there's there's a lot of depth to it, and we'll we'll get into that once we you know get beyond the, the tutorial section of of the story mode. <clears throat> yeah. So all this uh, stuff right now is very very early. It's the earliest stuff you do in the game, where it's just kind of teaching you how to play and what the different shots are. Uh, but we'll get through it pretty quickly, and it should still be pretty entertaining to watch. 
Um, you know, as you guys can see, I just took on Dry Bones right there and totally whooped him. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's so modest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here, why don't you, do you want to do this next one? Sure. We can pass it back and forth. Sure, sure. Cool. Um, read those, read those comments for me. Yeah, so let's see. I saw one earlier that I really liked. Okay, we'll start here. Uh, so Michael Kelly asks, "This game is this game actually worth getting in your opinion? Um, yes, I definitely think it's worth picking up, especially if you plan on playing it online because that's where the longevity is going to last in this game. I think most people will probably get through the single player um, in under 10 hours. Um, I think our reviewer, it took, him, it took him about six or seven hours to complete adventure mode, but he didn't uh, essentially 100% it the way that you could to my understanding. Um, so you could always go back and continue playing. The one thing about Adventure Mode is there isn't really m too much of an incentive to keep playing unless you really enjoy the mini game, the mini games or like the modes that it has within it, uh, which are very different than just your typical tennis match. So, uh, but like where I plan on playing the majority of my time with Mario Tennis is definitely the online stuff, uh, and it gets very competitive. And you know that if you if you checked out the uh, the beta when that was going on earlier. Yeah, one of the the most interesting things I think about the uh, the beta was that it, it presented the the online matchmaking in a very interesting way. Uh, in that it was structured like a tournament, so you would you the first match of, of your you know online session you would play against other people who are also having their first match. They were at the first round of the tournament. If you win that match, you move on to the second round, and you only play against people who moved on to the second round. Right. And then it just keeps on it keeps on going. If you go on to the third round, you only play against people who are in the third round, and eventually it gets to a point where you're going up against only people who have also won their last like four or five games. And it's to first of all they make a big deal about it. So if you get to that final match, uh, they like have a comment. They, they have a toad commentary team. They have like <laughs> intro cutscenes for every character. Uh, it just there's a there's a heightened sense of of uh, like specialness about the match. Right. Um, and if you win that match, it's it's almost like the Mario Tennis equivalent of a chicken dinner in in uh, in PUBG. <laughs> That's what it, it feels just, like. It feels really yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I was I was super happy with uh, with that demo, and I cannot wait till Friday until I get my own copy and uh, can play this online. It's true, and we recently learned too that the game is going to get uh, continuous free updates, and the first one is adding three new characters, which is really cool. Um, so. Look forward to that stuff. It's, uh, Nintendo's been doing a lot of that too with Splatoon 2 and ARMS, obviously, so it's nice to see that sort of moving Whoa. over into their other online what games like Mario Tennis. Yeah. What? Master Mario. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am Aster, humble guardian of the noble King Basque. It is my duty to watch over the one called Lucian. Lucian, uh, as you almost certainly already know, is the name of an almighty racket. It is a dangerous being with the power to control people. King Basque, who once ruled the ki this kingdom, was awed by this racket's power and took it as his own. In the end, it destroyed the entire kingdom. But with the last of his power, our king somehow managed to seal Lucian away. King Basque stripped the racket of its power. He then divided said power between five power stones. The infinity stones? Ooh, five of them too. <laughs> which he hid in different areas of this island. Power gem, time gem, reality gem, soul gem, <laughs> space gem. <laughs> oh man. Since then, many ages have passed. Time took its toll and that room fell to ruin. Breaking the seal, that's when the racket fell into new hands. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I, I don't know why it sounds like that. <laughs> He's just hyped up on Mountain Dew all the time. That's what it is. Uh, all right. Lucian had no trouble at all controlling two men so wholly motivated by greed. Yeah. I am certain that fell, that fell Racket will try to gather the five power stones and reclaim its original power. Our only hope is for you to gather the five power stones before Lucian does. It can surely sense where its power resides. At some point in your journey, I'm afraid you will have to face those who wield Lucian's might. Those are the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must master the power, the powerful tennis move called the special shot, which has been passed down for countless ages. Do that and you just, and you may just prevail. You may just prevail. Mm -hmm. There is a contraption in this temple that allowed the ancient people of the kingdom of Basque to train. Here you may discover new powers hidden within. 
All right. We have a match? We have a match! Yeah, against Ghost Mario, I guess. Uh, PS Vita J1 wants to know when the release date is. It, uh, when the release date is. It is this Friday, June 22nd. Yep. All right, so they're teaching me how to do a zone shot right now. I already know how to zone, uh, do a zone shot, so let's just get into it. So, boom. Samson L has a good question. Uh, is the story mode a good tutorial for learning all the new mechanics? So, yes. from what I've played, I think that's kind of the, the main uh, the main appeal of the story mode. Um, I, I really do think it, it's there to teach you everything that you need to know in order to, uh, you know, be a threat online. Yeah. Because the the people that you play online are going to be using all these things. They're going to be using zone shots. They're going to be using zone speed. They're going to be using special shots. And if you don't know how to do those, uh, if you just treat this as a regular Mario Mario Tennis game, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get wrecked. Yeah. I guarantee you, if you spend like your first two hours with the game playing through adventure mode, you will get online and be a much better player than you would have if you just jumped straight into the online stuff. Oh, too early. So definitely, definitely check out uh, Adventure Mode just to get warmed up, uh, if if anything else. So what's happening here is uh, you gotta get real I'm close. using... I'm u oh, too early? What? It's tricky. It's really hard to block shots. I feel like I was right up on that ball. But basically, if you don't hit this right, if you don't hit it at the right time... Why am I hitting him too early? I know, it happens. Mm, it, I did this perfect off camera, I swear <laughs> to God. You got Performance it. anxiety here. You got it. You got to get real close. I, it's almost like a body shot. All right. Yeah. I, I guess I got to get just... Get up in that ball. Get all up in it. <laughs> um. There it is. All right. I got the feel for it now. Nice. Let's see. What are some other questions you got here? Uh, other than, all right, so Rishi has a good question too. It's happening over in the IGN YouTube chat. Other than tournaments, is there a ranked mode? I always like a ranked mode in strategic games. Um, tournaments basically act as the main ranked mode. I, I'm pretty sure you can do like a casual tournament as well. Uh, the, the one kind of unfortunate thing is you can't do tournaments offline, like just system link uh, with just your friends who are within the same room. Um, but yes, tournaments are the ranked mode in Mario Tennis Aces. So here we have the trick shot, which uh, this is kind of like the main, well, the main big tricky mechanic in, in Mario Tennis Aces. And I think it's the one that you, you really gotta, gotta understand if you want to uh, really learn this game. But you basically can flick the right stick in a direction to immediately jump to it. And it kind of allows you to to put yourself in a position where you otherwise might never have gotten to, to, uh, to the ball. But the problem, or the, the, the catch, is that it takes up uh, some of your meter. So you, you, talk, you, you heard me before, I was kind of comparing it to a, a fighting game. And the main reason, I think, for that is because there's an element of meter management in this game. So you can either save your meter, uh, okay, so it wants me to use a special shot, but you can save your meter for something like this, which is a special shot, hmm. and this is basically a aimable uh, super shot. That if even if they they hit it, and if they're not perfect on their return, they will break their racket. And usually, what happens is you only get two rackets, and if you lose both those rackets, you just lose the game, regardless of if you're you're winning or, or losing or not. Right. And we just moved our camera out so you guys oh. can actually see the gauge. Sorry, I didn't realize it was covered up. Yeah. There in the beginning. Uh, so yeah, next time we jump in a gauge or in a game, you'll be able to see that gauge in action. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory, and that also really adds. I'm not sure if you mentioned, uh, but that really adds to the whole like fighting game element of it too. Just having a gauge where you build up and you can unleash this crazy superpower uh, as soon as it's maxed out. Yeah. So we just complete. I, that was basically the training training stuff. Yeah. So that's all the tutorial stuff for the most part. Pretty sure. This is the first actual thing, so you should play Donkey this Kong! too. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> He's really cool too. I love his uh, his um, like special shot that he has. Mm -hmm. You do oh, the L trigger. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Fun fact about the trick shot: um, you can also double tap on the X button, and that also activates trick shot too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it kind of it kind of actually messes me up sometimes because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes I want to. I, I'm pretty sure in the like Mario Tennis 64, 
Uh, you did a more powerful shot by double tapping a button. Yeah. And so that's that's just that's programmed into my brain. Yeah. And so they also map the lob and drop shot button to the X button. And so sometimes I'm like double tapping the, the X button to do a lob <laughs> shot, and he'll just jump. I'm like, no, I didn't want you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> So, nice. the beginning, n not very hard. <laughs> Samson L is asking, is the game at 60 FPS? I believe it is running at 60. It looks like 60. Degrees. Yeah, 60 Ooh, FPS, like 1080 in docked, 720p, 60 in uh, handheld mode. How does court selection in online matches work? This is from Misery. Uh, so, it's pretty much randomly selected um you can also do custom matches as well uh and the way that works is a little weird you don't actually pick the matches that you want to play you or the courts that you want to play you pick the courts that you oh, don't, don't like want to play and Sorry. then they won't show up in the playlist pb hand <laughs> or pb hand is asking or saying hope we're using motion controls for this uh we're actually we're not uh you can't use motion controls in uh Oh well, you can for zone oh, shots. Totally yeah. Works, yeah, yeah, but not, uh, not the the swinging. Right, controls. that the whole like swinging the Joy-Con around to actually use a racket is in a, se a separate mode entirely called swing mode um, that you actually have to go to in the menu screen and then use motion controls that way to play. Um, and it's fun. It works just like you remember it working with like Wii and Wii U and stuff. Here, I'll try to do uh, some motion controls right now. Woo! There it is. Pinpoint accuracy. Pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> uh, characters have some kind of customization as uh, Duke of Show. Uh, no, I believe uh, that was actually one of the complaints. Or, yeah. Uh, criticisms in the IGN review uh, that there really is not that much, if, at, if any at all, customization yeah. in, uh, in these characters. I wish I wish there was at least like alternate costumes that you could unlock. So far, there aren't any. There is an alternate costume for Mario that you get if you, if you play the demo. And you still have that that uh, that save on your, on your switch. There you go. Um, Gizmo is asking: Is Mario the only playable player in story mode? Yeah, right now Mario is the only character that you can play as in adventure mode. Which is kind of a shame. It'd be kind of fun to run through story mode with uh, Waluigi and just see what that would be like. But then again, you're kind of chasing Waluigi and Wario throughout the entire thing, so yeah, wouldn't make much. Sense. Yeah. I saw Lily in the chat, by the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lily Zabavar in the chat. What's up, Lily? What's up, Lily? Uh, let's see. Can Mario fan 2018 is asking, can you unlock any characters? Yeah, there's a bunch of unlockable characters. Mm -hmm. You start out with four. Um, I think it's Mario, Toad, uh, Peach, and oh, somebody else. Might be Luigi. Uh, and then you just unlock them as you go through adventure mode as well, and some other modes as well, so. I'd be surprised if it's Luigi, because Luigi's kidnapped. <laughs> That's true. It might not be him, then. I don't want to do practice. Uh, did you want to take uh, the control stick? Yeah, I'll try the next one. So this is the Piranha Plant Habitat. This one's actually really fun. You might have seen this in the trailers. They showed it off a lot earlier on when they revealed Mario Tennis Aces. Come on! Come on! So basically, this is going to have us battling against a bunch of piranha plants, and we have oh, to try... Is, this is actually kind of tough. I, I, I played this one. Yeah, the first time I did it, I failed miserably. Oh no, don't fail now. No, I'll be okay. Pressure's on, Philip. I got it. So you can really get accurate with like the way or where you're aiming your shots. Oof. There you go. The curveball lob. And there it's, is a timer here, so... So it's also kind of good, if, and once again, we talked about how the, the story mode kind of gives you on, uh, on the game mechanic. Uh, one of the things that Phil's doing right now is utilizing one of the most important aspects of this minigame. Is, it's the zone shot. Uh, but also, you know, it, it tells you that if you want to hit those guys in the back, you'll use a lob. If you want to hit the guys in the front, you'll use uh, a slice. Uh, the guys in kind of the middle, you can use a top, uh, kind of a top spin shot. 
And also, it's teaching me that, you know, there's a fastball coming away that really you should be slowing down time and using your uh, zone speed for. You Fu says this is basically Tetris, and I find it hard to argue. You know what? Tetris? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he, he makes uh, some pretty compelling points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Cyberman? Is this Luigi DLC for Mario Odyssey? Uh, between, <laughs> I mean, it's it's that, it's Tetris, it might even be Final Fight. A <laughs> little bit of all three. Mario Tennis Aces is whatever you want it to be. Back of the box quote. Mitch, put your mic a little bit closer. Put it all up on that mic, is that better? Three more, guys. Whew. I can also increase my <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, Mario time. That was awesome. Lots of fun. <laughs> and you level <laughs> you up too. You did that too. really well. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, so you level up and it's, you level up pretty easily in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Let's bring down the game. Uh, right you now. gain XP whether you win or lose. Obviously you gain a lot more when you win. Um, and you can't really choose what levels whether it's your speed or your shot power it kind of just picks that for you but it's still pretty gratifying getting that level up so you want to hop on the next one uh, i can take the next one I, I i played for a good amount okay uh yeah thanks for letting us know about the game audio we, we just bumped that down uh mario fan 2018 wants to know how hard are the controls to master uh, I think they're pretty pretty uh, intuitive to be honest yeah didn't doesn't take too long i think after you play for like i don't know three or four hours you should Feel like you've mastered them pretty well um, especially if you're playing through adventure mode uh, and learning all the nice little tricks and stuff like you can curve balls too which is really cool that's like one of the last things i learned but it helps you out quite a bit so this is our first PD boss piranha. yeah pd piranha so the bosses kind of have this health gauge here um it's the purple thing on the top right that our camera's covering right now <laughs> Um, and then... You want to put it in the bottom right? Yeah, let's put right. it in the bottom right. We'll move the camera. And then, uh, you can see there's three hearts there as well. So, that basically means that I have to hit the piranha three times in its weak spot. Um, but in order to expose its weak spot, I have to get the purple gauge down as far as I can. And then you will see... Uh, weak spots are in different... Like, they're on different areas of different bosses. And the bosses get pretty creative. So, I'm excited to show off some of them. Hopefully we can get to the second boss. Alright, so this is the first chance. That's the weak spot right oh. there. How do you like uh, using using motion controls to aim? Uh, For zone shots, it's fine. Yeah. I, I think it's great, yeah. I prefer uh, playing with physical controls and avoiding swing mode. Mm -hmm. um, just because I'm not that great with motion controls. Yeah. Uh, and I think most people might feel the same way too. But uh, as far as using it for zone shots, I love it. I think it works really well. Uh, we have a question from Lucas Manak. Do you experience any problems in online matches? Asking because I have problems with the online demo. Uh, you had problems or you currently have problems? Because the online demo isn't active right now. <laughs> um, so that would make sense if you're having problems with the online demo right now. Yeah, And unfortunately, uh, Nintendo has not turned on the servers yet for the online yeah. here. So we haven't been able to test it out. Yep. Um, so yeah, we don't know. But I did experience some problems in uh, myself with the the demo. Yeah. So hopefully they've got all that stuff squared away. I really hope I don't lose this boss the first time. You'll be fine. So remember that you actually want want him to hit it because if he misses it, his life bar doesn't go down. Okay. Oh. Oh, too early. Oh, be careful not to break that racket! I know, it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh no, Philip, it's, gonna, happen. it's gonna happen with that attitude. <laughs> Here we go. You got it, you got it. Alright, boom! One, one more time after this. Just cannot, cannot get the racket to break. I know, I know if, you're, if you feel like you're struggle, struggling, Rob Zabawa has the best hint. Uh, attack its weak point for massive damage. Oh, So, in thank case you, you were worried, like, you know, you, you weren't sure about what to do. I think its weak spot is its little belly button. Oh, is it? Yep. That protruding mm -hmm. belly button? Yep, that one. Adorable. All right, so you can trick shot dodge over these obstacles. The tornadoes are a little bit harder, but each boss has like a little segment like that where there's like obstacles that you have to avoid. Oh! No! 
Alright, Oh was, uh, no, Philip, give me the controller. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see I still leveled up even though I lost, which is actually helpful because chances are you'll probably lose uh, mm -hmm. quite a bit. It gets pretty difficult. It's not easy. Uh, some of these modes are very intense. Uh, so you'll still level up and you'll get stronger for the next round. Yeah, and uh, kind of once again, uh, I think the moments where it's difficult, um, I, I think it's also kind of a learning lesson uh, in like how to how to properly, you know, how to approach some of the the higher level aspects of this game. Mm -hmm. Like for example, like some of those really fast purple shots that are breaking your racket, uh, you know. And you were doing it uh, some of the time. Like you have to slow down time. You have to kind of you know right. move up close to it and and hit it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna break your racket. So it's it's preparing you for what you're gonna be experiencing online. Um, Stephen Ridley is asking: Is swing mode a small portion of the game, or can you use it for a main uh, campaign? You, it's a separate mode entirely, so you can't use it in the main campaign, but you can. Uh, spend all of your time in swing mode, <laughs> which, you know, it doesn't limit you with anything. It still has um, the same exact features and sort of courts and items and all that stuff. But uh, it, the reason it's in its own separate mode is to ensure that both players or all participating players are using motion controls, because it wouldn't really be fair if someone was using motion controls and somebody else was using, you know, physical controls. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten to, to mess around with swing mode at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit. And then I got sad because I was not doing well. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then I said I would never do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I said I'd let Tristan decide. Uh, let's see. How does HD Rumble feel? Any particular things stand out? And that's from Link to the Past. Great name. Um, mm, feels good to me. It feels fine. Nothing too special about the... Um, HD rumble, but you know, it's got that nice little switch classic rumble. So it's always a nice touch. Jay Skeleton says 7.5 out of 10. Too much tennis. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of tennis. There's a lot of point. There's a lot of tennis in here. Fair yeah. point. Uh, Dag is asking Can you play locally with friends? Yes, you can. Mario Tennis Aces supports. Um, System, it's, is it called System Link? It's not System Link, is it? It's called uh, Wireless Network Play. There it is. Yes, Network Play. News to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always want to call like Switch to Switch like System Link because uh -huh. I, I come from the you know old Game Boy days. Yeah. Um, but no, it's Wireless Network Play. Yes, you can. Is PD playable? No, PD Piranha is not Too big. playable. Yeah, that would be highly unfair. No, I mean, he's been playable before, I think, but uh, this version of PD is uh, of the much larger variety. James is saying, I just got this game today. Well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever store that sold it to you uh, should not do that. But <laughs> Did you ever have a, a store uh, that you would you'd, uh, go to that would be your, like, kind of black market uh, <laughs> dealer that would break street date? I, I had a place. Yeah, you yes. had a place? Yes, I, I had, had a place. I had a place, too. Yeah. <laughs> not going to name any names because they're good yeah. people over there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. If you call around your local mom and pop shops, you might be able to find a store, too. Yep. Support your your mom and your local mom and pop shop set that breaks street date <laughs> because otherwise uh, they won't be able to be around. <laughs> Whitney Canby says, hi, I'm new to IGN. Well, welcome, Whitney. Glad to have you with us. Thanks for joining the stream. You got the first infinity sound. Yeah. Nice. Come on. <laughs> uh, one box of pizzas asking, what part of the campaign is this? This is the very beginning. We're about like four stages in, maybe just past the tutorial. And once we get through this, we'll be able to check out a new area that you guys probably have not seen before. So should uh, be very cool. Did you want to do this one? Um, yeah, sure. I'll jump into this one. Go for it. Why not? Uh, how do you find the the mode with normal tennis, no special shots? That is a mode. Yeah. Um, I we we can check it out. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit later. Um, yeah, it's cool. Like if if you like just straight up tennis, pure tennis with none of this like you know extra stuff going on and the craziness of it all, um, then that's the mode for you. And and it's fun. Like it's definitely the way to play if you don't like zone shots and if you're not good at blocking zone shots. I would mm -hmm. say. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there probably are people that you know just are, are purists and just I feel know, like it's don't it's... don't want to have to deal with the the super the super shots and stuff like that. You know? Yeah, it's kind of like playing um, Super Smash Brothers with no items. That's kind of how Ooh. I. Great I, start. I, I, I hate that stupid <laughs> little hole. I know, it always messes me up. Uh, Lily wants to know who your favorite Mario Tennis uh, character is. So, when I played this on the N64, my favorite character was... I had two favorite characters. It was Boo and DK. DK because he was just a, a freaking powerhouse. <laughs> and I just constantly would be able to, to ace my friends with just some regular power serve. Um, and Boo I like because he's tricky. He has like really good curve uh, curve slices. Mm -hmm. um, and in the demo, I really liked uh, Rosalina because she, she basically felt like the Boo of of, uh, of this game. What about you? Um, I I've been playing a lot with Mario because I've been going through an adventure mode with him. Yeah. So it's hard for me to like go into a tournament and be good with anyone else. But my second go-to character has been Toad. Uh, mm. Toad is really good. He's a, he's a fast boy. Yeah, he's a speedy player. Yoshi's not bad. Ooh, oh, hate them. I hate that. Yeah, Yoshi's not bad either. Uh, he's also a faster faster mm. boy. Uh, of my of the new characters though, I really like Chain Chomp. Chain Chomp is a lot of fun. He's very very oh, oh. Wrong button. He's yes. he's very powerful, but he's uh, very slow at the same time. So there's a nice even trade. Oh, Get man. it, he's Mario. He's real good at hitting that that uh, the middle pole. I know, right? All right. Oh, you hear that ship flying over? Wow. <laughs> okay. Time to take it back. Come on, bro. I believe you. Deuce. Bring it back to Deuce. 40-40. Do you play tennis uh, in, in the real world? Uh, I, I went through a phase. Yeah? You had a tennis phase? <laughs> yeah. My mom put me through that phase. Uh, oh, she got me a tennis force, trainer. Forced tennis. When I was a uh, chubsy little teenager. <laughs> <laughs> uh did not work out for me well. Uh, <laughs> tennis is, is probably the one sport that I, I really gravitated towards. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. So you probably totally whooped my butt in real life as well. <laughs> <laughs> Lily plays tennis avidly. Oh, man, Lily, we should play tennis. Uh, but you live too far away. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not particular. Oh, that was a great drop shot. Oh, oh Koopa. One thing about this too is like I feel like the game knows when you're doing really well, like in one round, and then it'll just up the difficulty like crazy the second round, because <laughs> it yeah. kind of like learns the way you play. Uh -huh. uh, but it's a good way to add balance to the game if you feel like it's getting too easy. For the record, I don't feel like it ever gets too easy. It, it could be, if anything, a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vaca wants to know, uh, are those high school tennis days where you coined the backwards cap from your old YouTube videos? <laughs> uh, that, that was before I was cool enough to wear a hat like that. <laughs> that comes with age. Pretty, pretty cool, Philip. Yeah. Set point. Uh, off topic, do you think Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a Switch port of Super Smash Bros. 5 with new characters? No. I no. think it is, it's a totally new game. Um, there's a lot of new stuff going on in there, yeah. so, from, uh, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I think once that game comes out and people are truly able to dissect all the differences, uh, we're going to see, like, a lot of big changes. Right. Um, it's really hard to, to really get a feel for it on just an E3 demo. Oh! Uh, I don't know why it keeps going back. I think controller's malfunctioning. I know. <laughs> it's the controller, guys. It's not me. It's the controller. Uh, is this as good as Mario Power, Power Tennis on GameCube? I didn't play much of the GameCube Power Tennis. I played a lot of Mario Tennis on the 64. Um, but I, personally, I think this is the best Mario Tennis has ever been. Yeah. Oh, boy. I would have to agree. This is so far my favorite Mario Tennis um, for a bunch of different reasons. I'm actually really enjoying the adventure mode. I haven't completed it, but I'm right right at the end. It's just that last little thing that I don't want to spoil. Uh -huh. Gets a little hard. Yeah, I, I haven't played all that much of, of the adventure mode, but I'm having a good time with it. Yeah. 
How many characters are there? Do we know uh, for 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 fact how many characters are in this? Um, yeah, I think they've they've announced all the characters in the game. I forget the number off the top of my head. I think it's something like between twelve and fifteen, plus the additional three that are coming in the next month or so with the first update. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tutenbacher wants to know: Does this game have split screen? Yes, it does. It does uh, have split screen. In fact, I think we'll uh, we'll have some time a little bit later to to check that out. Yes. We got two controllers. Change card. And then uh, it also supports up to four players as well. So, if you want to play docked, or you can do it undocked as well, of course. But if you're playing docked, I highly, or if you play with four players, I highly recommend you play docked. Yeah. It gets a little crazy. Uh, going back to the, the Smash Bros. discussion, Philip, mm -hmm. do you think there's going to be Smash Bros. DLC for the Switch? Uh, for, for the Switch? For, for, do you think there will be DLC characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Oh, of course. Yeah? Of course. So you don't think that the the, the characters that are announced right now, all, all characters the, throughout the entire history of Smash Bros., plus Inklings and Ridley, you don't think that's all we're going to get? No, no? I, think, I think we're going to get some more even before the game comes out. That aren't even going to be DLC. You think that they're going to be on disc, huh? Right. I think Ooh, we there are boy. plenty of surprises waiting for us. I cannot wait. What about you? Smash, what do you think? Smash Brother announcements are my favorite kind of announcements. Yeah? They, nothing gets me more hype than <laughs> the new character announcement in Smash Brothers. Are there any characters you want to see in Smash? Oh, boy. Lily's going to be very happy to hear this, but I think we got to get Waluigi. It's time. I know. I know. He's it, a, It's his trophy. It's over time. I mean, it's been too long. You know, a lot of people out there are big Waluigi fans. Let him I, have his moment, you know? I tweeted this out, but picture this. <laughs> Smash Brothers intro. You see you see Luigi on Battlefield. He's walking. He sees an assist trophy on the ground. He picks it up, <laughs> throws it into the air. He's got Luigi has a little one player mark on his head. Uh, out pops Waluigi, assist trophy. The one player <laughs> above his head, signifying that he is a slave to, to Luigi. <laughs> Waluigi goes, Wah! He looks up. He sees the One Piece sign. Yeah! <laughs> he knocks it away, reaches into his pocket, pulls out a 2P, puts it over his head. It, it stays there. And then he reaches into his other pocket, pulls out a, a tennis racket, and proceeds to beat the living heck out of Luigi. And boom, while Luigi freeze frame, you know, new challenger enters, enters the, the fray. Oh, uh, please. That's, that's my dream Waluigi uh, character introdu introduction trailer. Please, God, let that be the way they do it. <laughs> if it, if they do it, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Waluigi needs to be in there. Um, we could also use a couple, I think, third-party characters as well. Just, you know, some long-time desired characters like Goku would be awesome, especially since we know Fighters is coming to switch i don't man goku would be a dream beyond dreams yeah if, if he could make it into smash yeah i feel like he probably would be one of the most popular characters people played as <laughs> all right so this over here is kind of like the mansion from luigi's mansion or at least that's what it reminds me of you want to try it sure it's pretty cool this is the Mirage Mansion. It does this really crazy thing with mirrors. And if you've been watching some of the trailers that have been coming out for Tennis Aces, then you might have seen these in action. But they're basically portals. Uh, and they're obstacles within courts. So, like, different courts have different obstacles. You saw in that last one, there was a big pole right in the middle of the uh, of the court that could block the ball and mess you up. So this, uh, if you shoot a ball into one of the mirrors, it'll come through the other mirror back straight at you. So essentially Basically you're just, portal. Yeah, it's portal. We've gone through we've gone from Tetris to <laughs> <laughs> to Final Fight and now we're, we're now we're playing tor uh, portal. Exactly. Uh, do you know do you unlock characters through story mode? Um yes, yeah. you do. Okay. So do you, like maybe we'll unlock Boo after this? I uh, could possibly. Maybe. I, I don't remember. Uh, Misery is asking, do different courts make a difference to running speed and ball bounds? No, uh, they all act pretty much the same, other than the different court oh, obstacles. Oh, Boo's so tricky! Yeah, Boo. <laughs> Too tricky. Um, but, uh, yeah, the different obstacles get really crazy. There's, there's one stage, uh, about halfway through the game, I would say, where you're just having a tennis match in the middle of a Koopa stampede. Like, just endless amount of Koopas running through the middle of the court, and if you hit one of them, the ball just kind of auto-faults. So, it's pretty challenging. Uh, Ghost G3 is asking, how long is the story mode? Story mode runs for 
about six to seven hours, I want to say. That's how long it took our reviewer to finish it. Depends on how, how, like, you know, how much you struggle with it also, I think. Right, exactly. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if the average playthrough was somewhere between nine uh. to ten hours. So. Out! Ha! Too tricky for your own good, boo. <laughs> uh, there are far more characters that deserve a slot in Smash uh, instead of Waluigi. One of them is Bomberman. Bomberman's weird, man. I, I can't believe that they, they used him for an assist trophy rather than an actual character. Yeah. Like, if you get the rights to it, just, just put him in the game. That's true, <laughs> yeah. I wonder why they left him out, because he's, he's been, I don't know, he's been wandering around the line of characters for a long time now. Mm -hmm. who, are some, who are some other characters that you think at this point, like, kind of, they deserve to be in, in a Smash Bros. game? Oh, man. Um, let's see. It's been... It's a good question. I, whenever anyone asks me this question, my mind oh always goes blank. And it's very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out, because like, all the all the characters that I've ever cared oh about God. are back. Yeah. Uh, like, for instance, Snake was a huge one for me, because I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. So just mm -hmm. when, when we saw that all the characters are coming back, that was a really big deal. Um, so it's hard to complain about like what new characters they haven't included yet. I understand people getting... Like a little bummed out about uh, Waluigi and Bomberman. For the most part, I'm really happy. There are like a few, like I said, Goku is a big one for me. But I think, um, I don't know, Ridley was one that I was really hoping for. I did not think that they would actually do it though, just because of the size of that character. Yeah. But it apparently works really well. Um, I really, I really think that Arms characters need to be in Smash at this point. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, I know that it's still a new game, so it's not like they've been on the waiting list for a very long time. But it's just such, it makes so much sense, you know, to have them. Dude. Mirrors! <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys can see this. This is a little tricky here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the easiest thing. Um, I think, uh, I think it's time to get Dixie. Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong? I think Dixie is, like, the one member of the Kong family that absolutely deserves to be in a Smash Bros. game. I think she has, you know, the moveset. She has stuff with, like, guitars that she could mess with. She mm -hmm. has her, her twirling uh, helicopter to, as a um, as a comeback mechanic. Um, so, yeah, I, I would really love to see Dixie Kong, to be honest. Cyborg Man says, or asks, will Solid Snake keep the next snap move from before? <laughs> Um, this is turning into a Probably. Super Smash Brothers yeah. game. <laughs> yeah, um, my guess is yes. I didn't get a chance to play with him at E3, but from my understanding, they all should play like you remember them playing, with uh, some minor alterations and tweaks. Like, they uh, they showed off, obviously, during the Direct about like how Mario now has Cappy, but uh, when I was speaking with some of the representatives there uh, in the media area of the E3, at the Nintendo uh, booth, they were keeping very tight-lipped about, you know, if Cappy actually is involved in any moves. Um, because, you know, Mario, the way Mario played during that time or during that E3 demo is pretty much exactly how he played in Smash 4. Um, but Sakurai has commented that he's, you know, constantly tweaking the game. They're constantly working on it and they're going to be, uh, you know, well until release. So I wouldn't be surprised if what we played at release is very different than what we played at E3. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh man, um, <laughs> Era Era XD says like people literally voted for Shrek oh, in geez. the last Smash Four poll. Well, how <laughs> what would you what would you do if Shrek showed up in Smash Brothers? I feel like there are so many other characters out there that deserve to be on the roster more than I, Shrek I, does. To be honest, I would probably write an article on IGN.com saying that Smash Brothers has finally jumped the shark. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> They've gone too far. They've gone too far. <laughs> uh, Spyro McCloud says, I think Crash Bandicoot and Spyro should be in Smash. I think Crash, yeah, Crash definitely would yeah. be real cool. Crash makes a lot of sense, especially since, um, obviously, the Crash Insane Trilogy is coming to Switch. Um, and it would be very surreal to see him because he's been such an iconic PlayStation, PlayStation character. character yeah. yeah. It'd so. also be really funny because they could not get Crash for PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, even though <laughs> Crash was the Mario of the PlayStation era. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. And if he couldn't make it into PlayStation All Stars, but he gets into Smash, oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Bar uh, shout out to Barrett Courtney. I saw him making a bunch of tweets like, "Put Crash in Smash, you cowards." <laughs> 
Ah, oh, these stupid things! I don't How? like these mirrors. <laughs> I don't like these mirrors. They're tricky. You gotta avoid them. There you oh, go. It's out. Oh, it's uh, out. It's yeah, out. Yeah. Singles, singles rules. You can't use those. Can't use those boxes. Ooh, Comic Sans says, "I hope Rex and Pyra make it in." I really hope that they have. Is that Xenoblade? Yeah, I hope that they have um, Rex in there at least as a. What do they call uh, them? Shadow characters? Or... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope they have for them in there for Shulk. Yeah, for Shulk, exactly. Because it would. It's cool because it's kind of like an alternate skin with some minor um, differences in how they fight. But for the most part, it's pretty much the same character. Yep. They both use arts. It makes all the sense in the world to have Rex in there. Yep. Uh, so we just got our second Power Stone. Uh, what say we? Uh, you, do you want to jump into some multiplayer stuff or yeah. check out some of the other modes? Yeah, We're let's jump into. In. Yeah, let's jump into multiplayer. That is the single player adventure mode of uh, Mario Tennis Aces. So uh, we don't want to play through you know too much of it and spoil just everything that there is. So um, yeah, let's do that. Let's yeah. Oh man, G yeah, uh, Dub S H S says Gino for Smash. Ooh, God, that Gino is one character so cool. that definitely has earned his spot there. So you get right, to see so him. What in are we there. doing here? Um, let's go into free play. I guess let's go into free play. Yeah, and then two players, single console. So you you, you can see local play is there, online play is there. Um, we'll jump in. Is that me? That's I think me. that's you. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. And uh, do you want to do? Let's do team because <laughs> it's all <laughs> we can do. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's doubles? do. Yeah, doubles is good. Play styles. Wait. So I think we just made a room for other people to join. Did we? I think so. So let's. let's see here. Local single play. console play. There we go. Oh, okay. And oh. we should have done two players. Yes. We're professionals, by the way. <laughs> We've done this before. We've done this before. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, select character. All right, so let's see. There. Oh, so we got we got a good amount of people here. Yeah, there you go. You guys can uh, see what's going on. Do you know if this on. is the full roster? Um, this looks pretty big. Yeah, this is the full roster, so everything's pretty much unlocked for that. Um, but then there should be three more. So how many characters do we see? It's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So 16 characters plus 3, so that's 19 in total right. that are officially there. Um, so it should be good. I want to try someone new that I have not played as. You're going to play Spike? All right, I uh, guess I'll I'm, do. I'm DK. Oh, you're DK. DK. Okay. I'll be... Um, Donkey Kong is here. I'll be Chain Chomp. Are we doing one-on-one uh, -on -one or are we doing dubs? I think this is one-on-one -on -one singles. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm just going to apologize in advance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love All right. So, so here, you know, people were asking if there's split screen. This is the split screen. So it, it kind of gives you a very squished box. Um, oh. Which way? Which way? Oh! Mm. Oh, oh! Just missed it. Whew. Zone shot winner. That was, that was a good zone shot. Very smart. All right. Oh, uh, it's master. Yep. Cross court. Oh, uh, the, the trick shot. Where are you going to go? Right here? No! Why would ha! you go there? You was looking at this. Psyched side. you out. <laughs> it wasn't you. It was a piranha plant. Uh. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. Ah! Whew. No, you, ah! you psyched me out that time. Okay. Oh, so we're playing a tiebreaker. I see. Oh, he got me with the drop shot. Yeah. Tricky. That's a dirty shot. <laughs> Very tricky. No. Boom. Oh, Donkey Kong hits super hard. He's a powerful character, right? Yeah. So I mean, so is, so is Chain Chomp. Yeah. I can't seem to get him to smack it hard enough, though. Come on, Chain. Old Chompy Chomp. Oh, 
I'm gonna break that racket. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Oh. No. <laughs> you got. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna totally win, guys. <laughs> Uh oh. Dude, this is fun. Yeah, it is good. Oh, again with the trick, the the drop shot. Psych you out. You gotta. It it really helps to like divvy it up with your shots. And, oh, like, mix he's it got up. The tricky shot. <laughs> tricky drop shot. <laughs> I don't like it. Change all right, all right, all right. Ooh, that was a good one. Uh oh. Oh, he hit me in the face. <laughs> Body shot. Oh man. Gain in the lead. All, all my all my uh my trash talk. <laughs> it's going out the window now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to jinx it. What happened? What happened? You just missed it. Alright. All my trash talk. Ha! Get ready for this business. This is the oh, like super special shot, I forget what it's called. Ooh, you did it! Mm. All that energy for Eat nothing. It. Oh! Dang! Six. Oh no! That was close. Oh no! Are we playing a seven? This oh, is okay, it. This six. is it. This is a match point. No! Oh, I win by a racket break! I win by racket break! Oh, man. Totally an acceptable win. All right. <laughs> I'm glad that actually happened so you guys can see that uh. it's really, you know, things can turn around very quickly here, even though I was clearly doing a better job. I'm just kidding. <laughs> clearly the better fair, player. Fair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that was great. No. Yeah, that's why I love this game is because you never, you never know. You have to really be diligent and be good. Um... Great. Well played. Well played. So let's, uh... You want to do a different, uh... Yeah, select, select character. character. Maybe we'll do a different level, too. Yeah. So it seemed like we didn't get to choose the level there, right? No, it just picks it for you. But you can choose what levels you don't want in the playlist selection, which is kind of weird. I'd rather just be able to choose the levels that I want to play rather than the ones that I don't want to play. So they just kind of did it backwards. Let's go with, um... For, this is this one's for Lily. I'm gonna go with Waluigi. Ah! <laughs> I love like I'm. He's a, good in this game. I like him. I'm not great with him though. I don't uh -huh. know. I don't know what it is. I think I just haven't learned how to play defensive characters very much. Yeah. So so basically, all these characters break down to archetypes. Um, Waluigi mm -hmm. is a defensive character. Toad is like a fast character. Boo and Rosalina are uh, tricky. Uh, I think Mario's all rounded. Mm -hmm. Bowser, Chomp are power. Uh, each of them have different you know advantages and disadvantages power characters tend to be a little slower um defensive characters aren't you know aren't great all around but they have very good reach and they're able to to get shots that other players might have uh, other characters might have a harder time getting to right all right your serve all right you ready for the trickiness of rosalina nope he's not <laughs> too tricky he's not, re he's not ready for the trickiness of rosalina <laughs> <laughs> Get it together, Waluigi. She is very tricky. Yep. Were you using her in the demo? I uh, used her in the demo. <laughs> That's what this feels like to me. Oh. Oh. Bah. Nice. Bah. Did not see that coming at all. There it is. Oh, nice. Nice trick shot. No. Oh, Dang out. Uh, <laughs> too quick. So when you're playing split screen like that, you definitely want to try and be quicker with your zone shots. Just don't mess them up like I did. Um, <laughs> because the other character or the other player can see exactly where you're aiming at. Oh, in split screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if I cheated. <laughs> if yeah. I'm a ch uh, cheating screen looker. Oh, you're not a screen looker? Nope. Oh, oh too early. Man. 
Oh, nice. Ha. All right, we got a point on the board, <laughs> finally. Is it, uh, Ice Stasis wants to know, is this live or pre-accessing for IGN? So, uh, we're playing a early, we're playing with an early copy. Oof. Those, those serves on the right side are very rough. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're playing with an early copy. The game comes out on Friday, which is, uh, the 22nd. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And we currently have a review of this game on IGN.com. They can go check out. Which you guys definitely should. Oh, God. I got, okay, I got to be careful about those now. You got one left? I got one left. That's the only way to turn this around, yeah. guys. <laughs> I got to be careful at this point. It might be smarter for me to just... Uh, to just let him have those points. Oh, oh I took a risk. Oh, what a block! Oh, oh. Nah, that's it. Mitch, Mitch knows <laughs> I how got to block the now. now. Yep. <laughs> I should have took advantage of that while you didn't know. <laughs> Ooh. No! Ah, body shots! Ah. Didn't press it hard enough. Why does it say Hollow Knight? Man, if, if it still says Hollow Knight, there's something wrong with the, the YouTube thing. Oh, man. Oh. Got him! My zone <laughs> gauge ran out before I could get to it. Good job. Good game. Good Very game. well played. Um, yeah, if it says Hollow Knight, uh, I apologize. Uh, we started the stream. For whatever reason, it didn't update. Um, it looks fine on our screen right now. So I don't know why it still says Hollow Knight. Yeah. That is very strange. Can you try refreshing it? Um, let's try a doubles match. Yeah. It says Mario Tennis Aces. All right, change rules. Doubles only. Here we go. Um, doubles partners. There we go. Yeah, the... It's kind of the the, the way that the the UI is, is set up is kind of weird in that like it doesn't let you choose what stage you're you're playing. I mean I, maybe it's, it's a different mode that we're not seeing right now. Um, Hit the uh, options button. It's X, or maybe it's up on the D-pad. Okay, so you can mess with the controls there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do. Controls. do we have any requests on uh, on people on characters? Yeah, we'd love to play as any characters you guys would like. So let us know in the chat if you want to see any of these guys in action. Mm, oops, sorry. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Waluigi this time. Chain Chomp. All right, we did Chain Chomp. But Chain Chomp. I'll we, do Boo because we haven't done we haven't done Boo yet. We did. Or uh, did you do Boo? Boo? No, we did not do Boo. Uh, Yoshi. I'll do Yoshi. Let's go with Yoshi. Boom. All right, this is for this is for Tutenbacher. <laughs> All right, well, I think we have time to get through a, a decent amount of characters yeah, here. Yeah, We've yeah. got an, another hour left in the stream, yeah, so. This. All right, so. Jump into it. Toadette and Luigi. Let's see how this goes. So do you want to cover Whoop. the front? I'll cover the yeah, back. Yeah, sure. I'll do volleys. Okay. Ooh. Up. Oh. Nice coverage. Nice coverage. Man. Boo is just as good as I remember. <laughs> Play a Shovel Knight. Oh, God. Shovel Knight would be so cool if he was in this game. That would be awesome. Nice. Nice. Oh, you cheater. Oh, oh, what? Get out of the way, <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, well. They never read Twitch com comments. That's absolutely not true. Uh, Donkey... We'll, we'll do... I did Donkey Kong when I first played, but I'll do Donkey Kong again. He's, my, he's like one of my favorite characters. Oh. Good coverage. Oh, you got that. You got that. Oh. 
Again. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> What's up, Twitch? How you doing? Oh, I got it. Nice save. Oh, oh get what? out of the way, Philip. What is happening? <laughs> Why am I doing that? Philip is a spy. <laughs> I know. I'm working for the other team. All right. <clears throat> Can you explain each type of character? Because I'm confused on that. Asked uh, Ixalora. Um, yeah. So uh, the archetypes are power, tricky, speed, uh, defensive. Oh. So you can see one of the things about uh, Boo, if you'll notice, whenever he does a, a slice, which is the blue streak shot, uh, it, it does a very mighty curve. Uh, much better than, than most of the other characters you can see. Oh, man. I didn't know that we shared meter. Um, so yeah, so that, that kind of is indi indicative of him being a tricky character. Um, Yoshi is much faster than other characters, which is why he's a, a speedy character. Oh man, we're, we're, we're getting kind of rocked here. Are we? Well, oh man. 5-2? We can't, we can't lose the NPCs. It is our first doubles match though, so. Oh, you got that, you got that. Send it home. Yeah, there it is. Um, power characters, I think, pretty obviously are very powerful, um, if a little slow. And then you have the all-rounders like Luigi and Mario, who just are kind of, you know, average at everything. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. Well, look at this teamwork. This, by teamwork, I mean look at Philip do everything. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> there we go, there we go. My time to oh, shine. Oh, I almost, I almost hit you. I almost caught that ball in my mouth. <laughs> uh, Bayonetta for aces. Bayonetta would have been a very interesting character to have in here, but I don't know if she fits in in this world this is kind of like uh, i guess it would have made sense they've got like donkey kong in here and stuff so Ooh. that's right there's also technical i don't remember exactly what technical uh technical does we got that we got that uh, oh oh yeah. oh the body shots all right game point i don't think we have room to show off uh swing mode unfortunately I got it, I got it. Alright, no, screw it. I wanted to do a power shot, but... Whoa. You got it, you got yep. it. Oh, in the face! Eat Take it, that. Toinette! <laughs> <laughs> is this the N64? No. <laughs> what? Uh, Milton's asking, what's the price? This is a full price game. It's going to be $60. Show us the menus, please. Uh, we might be able to do that once we finish up here. Ooh. Nice, nice. Ooh, man. That's All right. right. Here we go. Vantage. Taking it home. Where is Brian? Brian just had a baby. Brian is uh, on paternity leave. Yeah. So wish him uh, congratulations. Whoa, did you see that curve you Twitter. just hit? Yeah, man. Boo's crazy. I think Boo might even be more, more tricky than Rosalina. When you play as a non-tricky character, um, their curves go like far less. Curvy. Yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. see right there, that was uh, Luigi's curve. Oh, you got it! Nice, nice block. Nice. Oh yeah, get that. Ooh, this is a nail biter, man. Yeah. Uh, can you show off Mario's classic-looking gift playing the demo? Do you have it? Do you know on this uh, switch? Uh. Classic what? His uh, his oh, classic no. outfit. Sorry, no. that was my bad. Oh, it's okay. Um, no, I don't know why it didn't transfer over. Did you have to like win a tournament in the demo? Because I didn't. I don't think so. I didn't win a tournament. No. Oh damn. No. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. They have focus, the advantage. Focus. 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 Sorry, chat. We're gonna ignore you for a sec. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. We gotta win, guys. There we go. All, All right. right. Good. Whew. <clears throat> Come on! Sorry, I sold that. <laughs> it's alright. Boom! Nice. 
All right, this is where we take it home, right here. Match point. Right, right over here. You know what? Let's try one of these. Ooh, too early. I had no idea you could do that from a serve. Yep. I got uh, it's out. Yes. Ha. Got it. One by default. <laughs> Team IGN takes another one. Yeah. And Love by those another one, I need one. Yeah, right? <laughs> the first one. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very well done. So that's what it takes for me to win, is I actually need to play with Mitch <laughs> instead of against him. Okay. We should do that more often. Yeah. Good. Uh... All right, so we want, they wanted to, to take a look at the menus, right? Yeah. So we got Adventure, which is the single-player mode that we, we showed off earlier. Yep. Tournament. Um, oh, is this kind of like a, a, a Mario Kart kind of style? It's just like it right is uh, with the online stuff. Okay. Or how it was with but the it's, demo. It's yeah. against uh, AI people? Uh, no, this should be actually... Oh, this is the, the online, online mode, Online, or is there a separate online thing in the menu? I forget. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. No, nope. okay, so it is offline, but okay, you can't cool. you can't do like offline multiplayer tournaments, which kind of sucks. You can only play against AI in tournament mode Six offline. Seconds. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, let's uh, let's mess around with this. We'll we'll switch off. Yeah, for sure. So you can walk through tournaments here, um, and you don't really unlock anything. What kind of um, is a little disappointing is no matter what character you beat tournament with. Uh, you just kind of get the same trophy ending at the end. It's kind of like when you finish, you know, a tournament in Mario Kart. It's like the same thing for each character. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't get anything very special, um, but it's still fun to go through it with each character. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Showtime wants to know, is that is he wearing a Kenny Omega shirt? You know it. Kenny Omega represent. <laughs> Goodbye and good night. What's up, Daily Football News? Good to see you in the NBC chat. Uh, no, my channel is not closed. I am still active on it. I just have not been since I started on IGN, but keep an eye on it for some content coming soon. Let's see. Fresh Flash wants us to try Bowser or Bowser Jr. Yeah, I'll give him a shot. Next time, I didn't play as Bowser Jr. yet, but he's in here for sure. Are these full sets? Uh, yeah, probably. Ah. <clears throat> Does that mean no star characters like in the previous games? Uh, to my knowledge, there are no star characters. Uh, is the AI on easy? The AI is on whatever I believe the default is, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's normal? Normal, yeah. It's not to say that we can't take it on, uh, uh, you know, on hard. We could. <laughs> Just, you know, playing on the, the difficulty that normal people would be playing on. Cole Warren wants to know, what are some of the clothing customization options? Um, at launch right now... Several different ties for Donkey Kong. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> uh, right, at launch, the customization is a little bit limited, and Nintendo hasn't really been too specific about if they're going to elaborate on them. I think it would be very smart if they did add some more customization options, but you can change Mario's costume um, to the, I guess, the one you unlocked if you played the online demo that released a few weeks ago. All right. Who is done? Well, you it's tore it up. <laughs> that was pretty easy. You didn't. He didn't even let him score. No, nope. not, not once. No, nope. he's a he's a dumb ghost. He doesn't belong on a tennis court. Right. Boo just didn't bring it today, man. Toad laying into to to Boo. <laughs> They're pretty harsh. <laughs> They're harsh. Uh, did you watch the New Day versus the Elite in Street Fire Five at E3? I was actually there. It was super hype. It was awesome. I loved every second of that. And I, I hope that one day, you know, the stars will align and we'll get to see them in a wrestling ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. cool. I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, too sweet. <clears throat> uh, how likely is that? Is it that these games are all about some cheese tactics and less about actual tennis? So I think it depends on how you define cheese tactics. Um, if you play online, expect to deal with a lot of people using, uh, you know, trick shots to, to save balls that they wouldn't normally otherwise be able to get. 
Lots um, of curveballs, too. Lots of, yeah, if you're playing against uh, Boos and Rosalinas, expect very tricky curveballs. Um, as far as it being, like, cheesy, I wouldn't say that. I think every character has kind of their own their own unique advantages that wouldn't be considered cheap, just you know, good. Um, so I think I think this game will be pretty, pretty heavily skill-based. I don't think that there's going to be any kind of unique cheap tactics that you know are a replacement for skill plus you can play with all that stuff turned off too so yeah. you can just go with pure tennis oh broski three two one five this is a really great stream by the way you guys seem really nice and are very willing to answer chat questions well broski that is one of the nicest comments i've read in a long time so thank you We should have definitely upped the difficulty on this. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's the biggest Pokemon fan in IGN? Ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh, it's, it's between Casey and Miranda, yeah. I think, pretty easily. I don't know which one of those two are the bigger fan. I think it's pretty even down the middle. I know for a fact that Miranda is a huge Pikachu fan because her desk is just covered in Pikachus. Mm -hmm. um, but they both are basically our Pokemon experts, so... This, this sounds like something that we need to do, to have a, a video feature to decide. Yeah. So either a Pokemon trivia thing or... That would be fun. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Uh, and and uh, it, also Callie, uh, who, who now works at, at uh, GameSpot, also a huge Pokemon fan. All right, match point, guys. Here we go. Hi, I heard that they're adding Geralt of Rivia as a DLC character. That's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> you heard you heard it here in the nice. chat. Geralt of Rivia might be a, a special guest character in Mario Tennis Aces, yeah. according to So So Keedlin. Unfortunately the rumors of him being in Smash were false, but they were true about Mario Tennis Aces, which is exactly yep. where he deserves to be. Yep. <laughs> uh Anthony Mac Mackin is uh asking about Goldfarb being the biggest Pokemon fan in Goldfarb's IGN. the biggest persona fan. Yeah, biggest persona fan for sure. Um, big Goldfarb's the biggest Pokemon Go fan. Yeah, that's um, true for IGN. Yeah, I think in the world, yeah. I think he might be the biggest Pokemon Go fan in the world. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> All right. All right, Daisy. Oh man, she's she's run low on. All, uh, okay, so that's kind of interesting. So the six ra uh, rackets that you get last you throughout the entire tournament. I was like, six rackets, that's, you can't even, so, if, if you try to break a racket every single point of every single match, you wouldn't be able to break six rackets in a match. So if you're halfway through it, and you only have three rackets, you only have three rackets, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. that yeah, makes yeah. sense, yeah. What does IGN stands for? It stands for I Game Now. I Game Now. No, it stands for Imagine Games Network, but now it just kind of is its own thing. Mm -hmm. just, it doesn't mean anything. It just means IGN. It just sounds good when you it say sounds it. Sounds good. Yep. IGN. <laughs> Mark Caliber says, "My mom wants a Nintendo Switch now, so we can play Super Mario Party when it comes out." Aww. Yes, I highly recommend it. I got a chance to play Super Mario Party at E3. Oh, I can't wait for that game. It's a lot of fun. I cannot wait for. It. We're gonna have so much fun here in the office it's, with it too. It's been so long. Like Mario Party was such a defining game of my my childhood. Like mm. I, would, some of the most fun times I would have is going over to a friend's house and getting four people and playing Mario Party for like hours. Um, and I haven't done that pretty much since like high school. Yeah. So I, I'm really excited to uh, to have that experience again. And it seems like Super Mario Party is going to be real, real legit. And it has that separate mode. Um, it's called Toad's Tavern, and uh, it's or no, I'm sorry, Toad's Rec Room. Excuse me. And it's uh, it's just made for tabletop mode or handheld mode, and it uses the uh, multiple switches to transfer information from one touchscreen to the other, and it's really cool. They only showed off three uh, three different mini games at E3, but all three of them look really fun. The one that I got a chance to play was actually. Uh, a banana mini game, or I guess it was Donkey Kong themed because it's you know bananas, um, where you get to have you have to match banana shapes on each side of a screen and like draw lines between switches. Very 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 interesting technology going on there. So I think it's gonna be a good game once it comes out in October. 
Do you know, will you need to have two Switches in order to play a lot of that stuff, or...? Uh, the Toad's Rec Room stuff, I think, does require multiple Switches. Right. Um, it only connects up to two, um, so you can't put, like, three or four in there. Uh, and pretty sure you will need another Switch for that. But, as far as, like, playing docked mode, it's just classic Mario Party. And it's, like, a lot more like the earlier Mario Parties. It's not like the later Mario Parties. I know most people don't really like Mario Party 10. I also didn't really enjoy it that much. So I'm happy that they're going back to sort of what people originally fell in love with the series about. Yeah. Uh, do you guys know anything about the day one patch, considering online uh, may have been talking about the online game is really lacking in content right now? Are you talking about Mario Tennis Aces? Because online isn't available for us right now. Right. Uh, I, maybe that's what you're talking about? Like the con the I, I think the servers are getting turned on later today. Right? Yeah, they should be going on today or tomorrow, the latest, obviously, because it comes out on Friday. Um, but today makes sense because it should be launching in Australia in the next couple hours. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to save my meter because I want to show off Donkey Kong's uh, super move. That we, I, don't think we've, I don't think we've seen any super moves yet Yeah. because we've just been so meter hungry. And that's kind of the thing. I, I feel like, uh, you know, if, if I was to compile a list of, of tips to, to go into this game, uh, it would be like don't immediately just use your your meter when you when you fill it up in, with a, a special attack um, because meter is so valuable in other ways. Yeah, you could definitely get strategic, save it for like an opportune moment, and there's plenty of times too in adventure mode that you're gonna want to save it, especially with bosses. So, uh, people on people are, who have the game are already streaming online bouts. Wow, uh, maybe the service went online. Uh, do you want to try and play today. play some online? We can matches? try, yeah. yeah. I would love to. All right. I mean, I'm not I'm not getting my kicks on Daisy right now. <laughs> it, yeah, it would Just... actually be way <laughs> way funner to play it online. So we'll see after this match here if we can jump into it. Use motion controls. We don't have the the space. To use motion controls. <laughs> yeah. We might. I mean, we, we, yeah, I know. The last thing I need to do is go home with the black guy. Um. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, we'll probably stream more Mario Tennis Aces in the future, so maybe in the next stream we could plan to do, like, a bigger one, maybe yeah. with two other people, um, and we could just do it in swing mode with motion controls. Yeah, we're actually going to do a, a Mario Tennis stream, uh, I believe, next Tuesday. Ah, with, uh, there you go. With Barrett. Uh, I haven't even gotten to ask you yet, Phil, if you want to <laughs> stream with Barrett. Sure. Uh, that'd be great. Yeah, I'd love to. We could do uh, oh, swing man. mode there. I want to get, I want to get my, oh, hit so it back. Close. I'm just going to keep hitting it right to her. There, there we, we go. go. Boom. I love his. <laughs> da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. That's not how you use a racket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you play a couple stadiums with hazards on? I don't know how to choose a stadium. <laughs> All right, well, that's Mushroom Cup. Uh, if, if you want to just press a button in a direction and win. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's pretty one-sided, guys. All right. Let's not we, rub it in. Should we jump into online and see if that works? Let's see if we can. Okay. All right, so... I don't even know where you would go. You go to free play? Online, online play. Online play, here we go. Oh, maybe we can do... Well, I don't know if there would be enough people to play. Solo. Search for players. It seemed like there wasn't anyone anyone online. Alright, we're not going to wait too long on this, guys. Just just a heads up. We'll probably give it a minute or two. If, yeah. they, if you guys have any questions while we're waiting, hit us up. Twitch, YouTube, NVC, IGN. Mixer. <laughs> oh, this is a very nice comment. I'm going to let you... Uh, you know, I'll read it for you. Philip, thank you for your great work as the new Nintendo editor. I'm a longtime NBC fan, and you have been a great successor. You're a great addition to IGN. Keep up the good work. That comes from Andrew K. Channel, but you know what? I'm going to echo that comment as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Andrew. That is, that is incredibly nice of you to say, man. That made my day. I really appreciate it. It's not always easy being the new guy, but when you got such a nice, you know, welcoming party of coworkers and obviously a gigantic community out there, then, you know, makes it a little bit easier. 
<laughs> and thank you, Daily Football News. Right. How do motion controls compare to, say, table tennis in Wii Sports Resort? Um, they're, I would say they're similar. Uh, this feels a little bit more accurate. Um, so if you played the other Mario Tennis games, like you'll remember that uh, characters sort of drift towards the balls automatically or the tennis balls automatically. So that's how it works with swing mode, uh, where you don't have to worry about character movement as much as you have to worry about uh, the timing of your arm swing. So... Yeah, we're gonna. So it looks like online is on, but there's no one playing. So, uh, so we're just gonna jump back into into uh, into a doubles game. Okay. Um, doubles only. If let's, you want, yes. if you want to, we're gonna bump it up. Let's, we're gonna, bu let's, let's bump it up to expert. Yeah, sounds good. All right, here we go. All right, and I'm gonna go with. We had a request for Bowser, so I'll, I'll do Bowser. Let's do Bowser and. Ooh, daily football news. Do any of you watch an do, do, do any one of you watch anime? I watch so much anime. <laughs> Yay, anime. Go. You want to talk anime? Let's, let's bring up an anime. Let's talk about it. <laughs> uh, okay, so, man, I really wish there was an opportunity to, to choose the court. If there mm. and if there is, I feel dumb that I can't figure it out. There isn't. There isn't. <laughs> That's something I that they definitely should add in uh -huh. there. Should be way more like that. I'm gonna ready up. Go. Oh. Death Note for life. Hell yeah, Death Note is one of my favorites. Play as Chain Chomp. We'll do Chain Chomp next. People really like the power characters. I know. All right, so right here. So this is doubles, but we're on oh. separate teams. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right. That's all right. We haven't done this yet. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, man, Spike. I actually like Spike a lot. He's really cool. He's another powerful character. <laughs> he kind of freaks me out that he, like... He, every every time he serves, he puts the like the ball comes out of his mouth. Yeah. He just like it'll zoom in on him. It'll just be like. Ow. It doesn't show it going in his mouth. It just shows yep, it coming it just, out. He just produces <laughs> balls in in his body. Yep. We're making this too easy for you that guys. That was out, <laughs> Yoshi. It's like the AI is that messing us up. Yeah. That wouldn't have happened if <laughs> Philip was on my team. <laughs> Ah, the body shots. The body shot. And you know what was worse about that? He, like, lingered. He, like, knew it was out and just, like, thought about it for a little while. I know. And he wasted my meter. And he's wasting my meter again with this... Oh, I don't like this Yoshi. Stop wasting it. Mm. I had it. That was a good play, though. Just trust in me. Uh, Mitchell, as an anime fan and a fighting game fan, what are your thoughts on Kill a Kill? So here's the thing. I think it's an important distinction to make. Uh, you know, everyone's getting real excited that it's a, it's an Arc System, uh, Arc System Works game. Um, but I think it's important to remember it's produced by Arc System Works, not developed. It's actually developed, I believe, by the people who made uh, the Little Witch Academia game. So that kind of put a little damper on my my excitement, but uh, I'm I'm excited to see more of it. Nice uh, shot. That was a good shot, Yoshi. I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, Mario Loves Kirby is asking, did you guys beat the adventure mode yet? And if so, what are your thoughts? So I haven't beaten it, but I'm very, very close to the end. And I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I think it's really fun. Um, it compares very well to uh, the previous adventure modes, especially the one on GBA. Um, it's just full of tons of like really interesting and unique mini games that you wouldn't really expect to find in a tennis game. Um, with you know, tons of Mario twists. Like, if you caught the stream a little earlier, you would have seen me playing uh, the PD Piranha parts and the different bosses. Uh, it's a little short for my taste, but um, it's still got enough in there to sort of get you ready for multiplayer, which is exactly what it's designed to do, I feel like. I need to get off volleys. Oh, come on! He knocked me out of the way! <laughs> Ooh, this Yoshi is making me crazy! Yeah, you got it. Get out of here. 
Oh. All right. He's pushing me out of the way. We're neck and neck. Uh, someone asked uh, if, if I could uh, recommend animes like Death Note. Check out Monster. Which, I mean, I don't think there's anything too much like Death Note, but Monster is a very good thriller. Um, uh oh, this is bad. So they just use that, or the AI. The AI is doing this. That was not me. <laughs> oh, Yoshi! Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Just, just let it go. That was a good match. Just I let mean, it go, Yoshi. It was Yoshi that held you back. All right, we're not gonna play any games here. We know Mitch is a good player. We've seen him play. It's Yoshi that needs the work. Yoshi's fired. I'm say right now, Yoshi is no longer working for this organization. <laughs> and as much as I'd love to take credit for that, uh, that was actually the AI that pulled off that last winning shot. So. <laughs> Uh, right. So you can choose the court, but you have to deselect the other courts instead of selecting the one you right. want to play. Right, exactly. Okay, so, so there you go, courts. I see. And so you, you do, do custom, custom, yeah. And then you can choose which ones, I guess, you want to do. All right. Um, Let's go with... Uh, someone asked for Rosalina. So you already played as her, right? Yeah, I'll do it too. Oops. Um, I'll go with... Who... Is there anyone we haven't seen? I think we've seen every single one. Maybe Luigi. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've played as Luigi yet. Cool. Um, oh, I like this question. Um, how long until you attempt to take your revenge on Kind of Funny in Mario Tennis Aces? Oh, as soon as, uh, as soon as we can get another, uh, championship arranged. <laughs> do you hopefully think, soon. Do you think now that you've played, played this game a bunch, do you think you'd, you'd, uh... Yeah. Yeah, you think you'd... Totally. Be floor with them? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, we played it for 10 minutes yeah. before we actually, you know, hit record on the cameras. Yeah, I mean, at that point, it's a coin flip, right? <laughs> yeah. So whoever presses the buttons better than the other person. And to be fair, they did have it there when we got to their offices. So for yeah. all we know, oh. they could have been practicing. They could have. Yep. We, n we don't know. Are we on the same team here, or are we on different teams? Um, We're on different teams again. All right. Daisy, I swear to God, if you break your racket, you'll be very <laughs> upset. Oh, got it. Oh, it's going to be very bad. Ha. Will we ever get Waluigi? We got, we, we played this Waluigi. Oh, we got Waluigi right there. Yeah, there he is. No. Oh. Thank God. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Right. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh. Oh no! Ah! Oh. oh wow, that was tricky. Man. He was and like destroyed. right, yeah. He was right next to that piranha plant. Wait, I want to see that replay one more time. I want to see him smack it into the piranha plant. Oh, oh never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on! Give us a point. Let's have a point. No. Oh, you're gonna break a racket again. <laughs> I think you're. Oh no, yeah, you Don't are do about it. to break. Don't do it. No. no <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Daisy. Game over. Woo. We need to. We need to do uh, one. Us playing on the same team. Yeah. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. And as you play through adventure mode, uh, you unlock more rackets. You don't only just have one racket. Like, as you saw in the tournament, we had six rackets. And um, there are at least, I'll say that, at least six in adventure mode. So I'll do Bowser Jr. Okay. I'll go with, uh, let's go with Toadette. <laughs> I love this song. Gets you hyped. All right, back to Marina Stadium. 
Toadette, huh? Oh, Chain Chomp. I forgot Chain Chomp. We've played Chain Chomp before, but... Yeah. All right. We used him twice. I'll, I'll try to remember next time. Uh, does this game compare to other console exclusives like ARMS, Splatoon, and Mario? I think it, it compares pretty favorably, to, uh, to be completely honest. Yeah, I mean, they're totally different types of games, uh, but I think that, you know, as far as competitive play goes, yes, it's right up there. And I, I think it'll be just as active online, too. The, mm -hmm. the tournament demo community was definitely very active. There were some people out there with, like, crazy amount of coins uh, that they earned from playing. Pretty sure that they just nonstop played all weekend. Um, can ah! you Somebody was asking, can you play doubles online? Yes, you can. Ooh, nice catch. Yeah, but it's going to be real. Ah! Okay, we're good. We're back in it. No. Oh, I got it. Whoa. Uh... Wow. Oh, all right. We got to be careful. Also, we only have one racket. Is this ace mode? <laughs> we're playing. On, we're playing on uh, expert here. Expert, okay. Two. Oh, oh come okay. on! All right. That was a trick shot. All right. If there's one thing I've learned about the computer, uh, is that they're they're very bad at defending zone shots. So let's try to to uh, keep some of our meter and hit him with some zone shots. Okay. You got that. You got that. Boom. What? Oh, he blocked it. Where was that? Where was that play when I was playing with you? <laughs> oh. I got it. There we go. Nice. Ooh, what a shot. That's right. Boom. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, all right, let's do it. There, oh, it, is. there it is. Okay. There it is. <laughs> oh, painfully awkward. I know. <laughs> no one memed that, please. <laughs> oh, you got, got it. it. You got it. Nope. Nice. I'm going to get back up. No. Uh, yeah. Dang. dang it. I could see people getting really good, though, as, like, teams, you know? And just, like, learning how to play with each in other. In the face. Right in the face. <laughs> nice, nice. You got that. Oh, man, they got, they got... Okay. Oh, okay. Let's get ready for it. You got it. Nice. Oh, what a block. Nice. Oh, what a, what a recovery. That was a great play. Very good job. Uh, Bowser Jr. has some incredible defense. So I, I don't actually know if, uh, if defense refers to their ability to block um, zone shots and power shots without, without losing a, a racket, or if it's just kind of their ability to, to hit uh, far away shots. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There nice. it is. I got it. You got Oh, no! Oh. oh, it's okay. Okay. Make it's, Spike break his racket. Uh, it's recovery time after strong shots. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Ooh, what a shot. What a <laughs> shot. Defense is their horizontal reach. I'm getting conflicting conflicting uh, opinions here. Ooh, down the line. That's right. All right, Game match point. point. Here we go. Confirming that expert difficulty is no match. For the duo of Philip and Mitchell. I got it. I got it. Boom. Nice. All right, let's get it for real this time. Yep. One and two. There got we go. I'm going to take a celebratory drink.
non-brand uh, drink. <laughs> my nondescript beverage. Yep. My nondescript diet beverage. Shall we select character? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you think we can? Do you think we should try pro? Should we? Yeah. Should, yeah? yeah. I think we're ready. Right, we're ready for sure. All right. Oh, uh, hold on. Back. Oh, we gotta change rules over here. Change rules, single or doubles only, doubles partners. Oh, it was was it? No, it wasn't inter intermediate. It, it reset to the default. We were playing on expert. Oh, I promise. We were? I promise. Okay. I hope we were. Wait. What? Uh, we lost one yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it Two is. players. Get in there, second. There we go. How OP is Rosalina in the full game? I mean, she's the same. Uh, I wouldn't say she's OP. I'd say she's good. Um, okay, so we're going to do... Oh, man. Expert, pro, and ace? Yeah. Let's try pro. All right. <laughs> Let's well, try pro. If we win this, though, we should try ace yeah. for sure. All right. Uh, someone was saying chain chomp before, so I'll do chain chomp. I will go with... Um, I don't think we've played as Wario yet. So. Wario. Alright, here we go. We're, we're trying we're trying on uh pro here, which is the second hardest difficulty. Mm-hmm. We got this. Uh is Mario Tennis Aces adventure mode long? We've we've heard that's what, six to seven? Hours? Yeah, about six to seven hours I would say. Uh, that's how long it took our reviewer to get through it, but um, I suspect an average playthrough is probably anywhere between eight and nine, or I'm sorry, nine and ten hours. Nice. Oh boy, that was a weaker shot than I would expect from Bowser. Eh, it was all right. Those lobs are so unpredictable. Oof. Oh man, we might have we might have gotten a little too ambitious here. A little too cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys excited for Smash? We're so excited for Smash. Cannot wait. I, I think I speak for both of us when I say that. Yes. I got it. Oh boy. No. Uh, I got it. Oh, oh, I thought I had man. it. Oh, that was a mistake. That was my that was my bad. You got it. Good recovery. Oh. Oh, I, sh I gotta stop doing that. He's a one man I'm sorry. army. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, oh damn it. man. <laughs> so close. <laughs> you shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's you. We gotta get some points on the board there. Oh, boy. There we go. There we go. Nice. You guys got it early? Yes, we have an early copy of Martinez Aces. It comes out. On Friday, oh, I gotta stop going for those. Can't do. Nice. Get okay. it. Oh so man. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang back because I'm feeling like my volleys are are uh, are giving us weak weak return shots. Okay. It's probably not the greatest idea that we both pick powerful characters. Yeah, either. probably not. Oh, oh, I got it. Yes. Oh. Oh boy. All these, all these trick shots are wasting our meter. Get out of here. Uh, Maybe that's exactly what they were trying to do. You see that? They're wasting our meter. Oh man. All right. This Smart is tough. AI. Yep. Oh boy. All right, well. So we're not ready for we're not uh, ready pro. For pro. No. So we're not ready for pro yet. <laughs> um, you want to, we got about, what, 12 minutes? You want to yeah. bring us out with a couple of one-on-one -on -one matches? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Let's do free play. Free play. Single two-player. Two players. Really annoying that you have to do this every time. I know. <laughs> All right. All right. 
no comms, so we don't have to worry about difficulty. I'm going to stick with Luigi. I feel like I was doing best with him. I want your best. You want my niche. best? Yeah, I want you to go want super best. hard. Yeah. All right. Try uh, as hard as you can. Let's go with uh, the people. The people have been saying Rosalina is OP. Okay. So here we go. All right. I definitely think I am uh, best with all around characters. Yeah. So like Mario, like the Mario's? Luigi. Yeah. The Mario's. Uh, I had <laughs> I played a match online against someone who all he did was lob. And uh oh, really? It was just back honestly. And forth. It was very it was very stressful because I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna lose to someone who's just lobbing, and just giving me easy <laughs> easy smash shots. Right. And it was surprisingly an effective tactic. Uh, it was a very I did win eventually, but it was tough. <laughs> was it just one of those matches that lasted forever? Yeah. Like, 15 minutes. Yeah. I got into one uh, really heated match in the tournament demo that felt like it oh, lasted no. like a half an hour. And it was so worth it, though, because I ended up winning at the end. It was like one of the most gratifying yeah. online victories I've ever had. Ooh, those pesky piranha plants, man. Yeah. Oof. Overshot it. All right, I'm building up a comeback here. Oh. <laughs> he can't handle the Rosalina serve on the right side. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's too tricky. Because it, it, it looks like it's coming straight at you, and yeah. it doesn't. Just drifts off to the side. Get it, Piranha. Get it. Get it, Piranha. What? Gotta, oh. make, gotta, gotta make use of the course. So you can't start charging your shot until the ball is like out of the mouth, which I made a mistake. I was like holding it as I was waiting for it to pop out. People keep talking about a character called Boom Boom. Do you know who that is? Boom Boom? Yeah. No. People in the chat who are talking about Boom Boom. Who's Boom Boom? Yeah. I, I assume he's a DLC character, but I'm not familiar with it. Oh, oh. man. All right. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Six zero. It's okay. Don't don't go soft on me now, all Mitchell. Right, all right. You end it hard. <laughs> end it with a bang. I mean, this is what you wanted. I did. Oh. Which way? Oh. oh, those prawn plants are tricky. I blame the course on that one. Yeah. I blame the court. It's the court, man. Let's do another one. All right. That was a quick match anyway. Uh, Boom 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 is the one in 3D world with the boomerang. Okay. Now I got you. I'm going to go with... What haven't we done? I feel like we've done pretty much everyone at this point. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm going to go with random. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll do the same. Uh, isn't Luigi supposed to be a good volley player? We can, we can, well, uh, yeah, he's if not. If we get bad. another one, I'll try. I'll try Luigi. Oh, we got two power, two power people. Oh boy, who's who? Okay, I guess I'm Spike. Yep, I'm Bowser. Right. Ah. So my number two tip uh, for, for Mario Tennis Ace is I feel like there's a, a natural in instinct when playing a tennis game to when you see when you see the person is uh, is like on one side, you see open court on the other side. Yeah, there's an instinct to always hit towards the open court. Right. But the other person is also thinking, oh, the, there's open court over here. I'm going to go this way and cut it off. So if you hit it the other way, uh, then it kind of throws them through a loop. Does. Mind games. That's what it's all about. Whoop. Too early. Oh boy. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh man, what a block! Gotcha. What a block. Oh no! Oh god, I can't lose my racket. No! Got him! Oh, I thought I had enough for another zone shot. Oh well. Gotta keep an eye on your gauge. Uh, can you do two player one screen? Uh, if you're doing doubles, you can. Uh, if you're doing single si uh, singles, you cannot. Uh, the reason is because they want to make sure that... Going right for you. <laughs> oh man! Uh, they want to make sure that there's no advantage of like one person being on top, one person being on bottom. So they just kind of give both people uh, the bottom, the bottom half. No. Oh, it was out. Ooh. I was going for your face. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, nice catch. The rally. Ah, I was too scared. If, yeah. I, if I lose one more racket, it's over. Too risky. Uh, aren't zone shots a bit useless with two screens? No, because the, the advantage of zone shots isn't so much that you don't know where the ball's going to land. It's that uh, you you have to have the meter to be able to slow time down and be able to get to where it's going to go in time. And if you don't time it right, then you, you lose some uh, racket strength. Yeah, ah. I can do drop shots too. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Spike is so cute. He's pretty cute. There's that Paul right out of his mouth. Where can you buy this game? Oh, the drop shots. Uh, it's, it should be available on the Nintendo eShop as a digital download, and you can get it uh, anywhere games are sold physically. So keep an eye out for it. It comes out Friday. Lock. No. No. Out. Ooh. Whew. Good game. Good game. That was good. I think we got time for one more. One more quick one. One more. All right. And we can actually just rematch if you want, or if you uh, want to change characters. Let's change characters. All right. Cool. I'm gonna go with random again. And I will do. Leave luck to God. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll try Luigi. B Boom Boom, Dry Bowser, Koopa Trooper, and Dry Bones. We don't have the DLC. We can't. I know. <laughs> You're asking the impossible. I know. Let's get the DLC on here. Should be coming soon, though. It's not too far away. Uh, just join. What was the answer to the question? What was the question? What was the question? Repeat the question. Uh... Mega Ness. Thanks for showing us the game in detail, guys. Uh, so can't wait to play it. Well, thank you for joining us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not, I, I shouldn't do that. That's not Wild <laughs> Luigi. That's regular Luigi. Yeah. Come on, Chain Chomp. Show him your power. Oh no. This is very bad. If I if I if I miss this, if I break a racket. Oh god. <laughs> I'm too scared. I can't I can't risk breaking a racket. 
It's, it's just an instant. I would lose before one point was even <laughs> even given. It comes at you fast. It's pretty intimidating. <laughs> Oh, too You're far. Not make that. Too far. <laughs> when is the review coming? KFL, the review is already out. Check IGN.com. Oh, no, Luigi. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what black magic is this? Get it, Chompy Chomp. No. Ah. Uh. Dang, I, I'm starting to double tap the X button <laughs> like a maniac. Oh, here we go. Yeah. How you feeling, Philip? You feeling confident? confident? Uh, you gonna hit this? Uh, it's coming right okay. at you. It's coming right, like... right at you. Oh, he didn't feel no. confident at all. <laughs> how, how did I break the racket already? So a super will yeah. break the racket in one hit. Yeah. yeah, you're right. All right, guys. Well, that takes us to about 3 o'clock. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. This was a lot of fun, and thank you guys very blast. much for joining us. Uh, yeah, so this has been Mario Tennis Aces on Nintendo Switch. Comes out Friday. It's going to be available digitally and in stores for $60. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, we Our review is up on IGN.com. Uh, definitely go check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll be streaming live on IGN.com for NVC. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll definitely be talking about Mario Tennis Aces, Octo Expansion, tons of post E3 stuff. So I definitely hope you guys can make it there as well. And if you can't catch the live show, uh, check out youtube.com slash Nintendo Voice Chat every Friday for our pre-recorded podcast, or actually our live podcast recorded showing up there. So uh, thank you very much again, Mitch, and we'll Thanks see you me. guys soon. Bye -bye. Take care.